So when I was a kid and I put the radio on, mm. when I used to get back from school, I used to put the radio on, and this man was on called Steve Wright doing his afternoon show with this range of, of characters and people shouting stuff in the background and people on the phone. And it was, I'd not heard anything like it in my life. I just thought this was the most amazing thing. It's just the best show ever. It was on medium wave. This is how old we all are now. And he went off to be a consultant for the company that I worked for. I was working in out of Milton Keynes at that point. We got on straight away and we talked about radio and we talked about what I was doing and what he was doing and Radio 1 and everything. And then we we swapped numbers mm. um, and we stayed in touch. He would ring me and leave me messages on my phone. Uh, he wouldn't say hello. He wouldn't say, hey, it's me. Mm. He, I would get home and I would press the answer phone machine in the old days when he had that. You have one new message. Beep. Yeah. I like the bit you did about the washing machine today. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that was good. Straight in. Uh, anyway. And then he put the phone down. <laughs> right. No hello or goodbye. No hello or goodbye. Sometimes a goodbye. Never a hello. Right. And he would leave me these short little Steve Wright shows. Mm hmm with little critiques and, and, and little... but And it was always... Always really positive. Yeah. And uh, and then that was that. And then I, I met him for a cup of tea one day and I said, I've been offered a job at Radio 1. And he... <laughs> he said, Yeah, I used to work there. <laughs> oh, really? And I'm like, Yeah, I'm yeah. aware of this. He goes, Yeah, yeah, you... Uh, yeah, that could be good for you. And I went, do you reckon? Mm. I was doing like weekends at Capital at the right. time, late night. And he goes, it's not what it used to be. So I said, no, I get that. And it never will be. And he goes, yeah, but you could uh, you could be the last big famous DJ to be on that station. Like to actually have an impact. Yeah, you could probably do that. Mm. And I ended up then doing his time slot, the old afternoon time slot we used yeah. to be on at four yeah. then they moved us to three which is when he used to be on mm. and i got such a kick out of that we, we kind of lost touch a little bit and then I, every so often I'd, I'd see him i'd go on the show or something and then one day i called him up when i was here in the early days of me being at radio x and uh this will be hard for me to get through i basically said uh i rang him up and said i need to i want to ask you something it left a message and he rang me back and he goes right so you want my job when i leave and i went what a radio two no i don't he goes all right you want me to do something for your show on radio x i went no i don't he goes well then what do you want <laughs> and i said none of us are getting any younger you and i oh, we've always got on and we've lost touch and i'd really i really think you and i could be friends Right. And he said, wow, that, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I'd, I'd love that. And I said, look, I'd like to take you out for dinner. And he said, I'd, I'd love that. Uh, the, re <laughs> the reason I'm getting upset is because I'd said, look, you know, people are dying, you know, mm. you know, and we, you know, we should hang out more. And he goes, yeah, I love that. And we did. And I didn't tell many people about it because <laughs> he said to me when they go, this is for us, by the way. This isn't for the show. Right. This is for this is you and me. Mm. This is isn't a thing. And so I didn't really talk about it much. A few, a couple of my friends kind of found out later. But you know, it was we would go for dinner. We would mm. chat on the phone, and we would meet up, and we would have some hilarious conversations. He was a quirky man, but a lovely, genuine sweetheart. Um, and. He wasn't eccentric at all. He was so sharp and so clued in. He had thoughts about radio and television and music and art um, and was was aware of everything. Knew what was in the charts, knew what was the big films, the TV shows, mm. knew what everybody was doing on the radio, flicked around, listened to different stuff so you could talk to him about the industry. He knew the good bosses, the bad bosses who knew the people who were good on the radio, who got it. Mm. And it was just lovely talking to him about radio. And then equally talking to him about his family and yeah. just, you know, he, he was asked how Tiff was, I remember my dad were. But he was just 
Awesome. Just brilliant and lovely and private. So I felt very flattered that he would, you know, let me into his life a little bit. He even made it onto this show when it was my 30 years in radio. That's right. Yeah. He sent a message, yeah. which I absolutely adore. Yeah. Um, and there you go. He's dead now. Mm. So cheers, Steve, for everything. Uh, we lost you way too soon. Um, he's left me with just so many amazing memories. He was a one-off, wasn't he? He really was. An absolute pro. A gentleman. A lovely, lovely guy. He's a very positive guy. Why? How me and him got on, I've no idea. We were <laughs> very different. He was a big supporter. Mm. Listened to this show. Yeah. Knew everybody who worked on the show. Mm. Yeah, love him. And I'm, I'm, I can't... I can't... Uh, I can't comprehend. I'll never talk to him again. Mm. Um, this is a bit weird, but I'm gonna. I want to play his favourite song, um, which will be really emotional. And and I know I'm on Radio X, and I'm gonna play something which isn't very Radio X. But I know it was his favourite song, and I know he'd love it. He would love it if I did this. Um, so I love you, Steve. Thank you. And this this was Steve's favourite song. Inky Pinky Ponky, Daddy bought the donkey, Donkey dies, Daddy cries, Inky Pinky Ponky. It's what he would have wanted. Is it? Yeah. Is it? How brilliant, the perfection of his show. That. Well, that was the... That this was his theme. Yeah. Which is like 50 musicians recorded in two different countries and mixed, made by... And the brilliant Anthony James. And I used to sing it every so often to him, and he'd ignore me. It was well known in the industry, wasn't it? There, yeah. w there was never a mistake in, in a Steve Wright show. Never a mistake? Never. I would call him every so often and go, bum, ba da, bum, bum, and he'd go, yeah, 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 how are you? <laughs> and only once did he join in, and we're both on the phone going, dum, ba da, bum, <laughs> bum, dum, dum, dum. Uh, anyway, there you go. He's well done gone. for getting through that. And uh, God love you, Steve. You absolute lovely, lovely man. Radio X.